Hello, my name is Dr. Bina Tamale Sali, and I'm a medical doctor here at Women's Hospital International and Fertility Center, located in Bokoto, Kampala, Uganda. So the first question I'm going to talk about is how does the sperm and the egg meet outside the body? So this process is called in vitro fertilization or IVF. So in summary, IVF is when we give a woman medication to encourage her, her ovaries to produce as many eggs, as many mature eggs as possible. Then through a simple procedure, we remove the eggs. That very day, we ask for her partner to provide a semen sample, provided in a container that looks like this. Then under specific conditions, we combine the two, the sperm and the egg, in the laboratory. So I'm going to briefly mention the two techniques we use to, to combine the sperm and the egg together. The first technique is called conventional insemination. So what this is, is in a special dish called a Petri dish, we place an egg in some special liquid called media and we surround it with sperm. What you need to know is eggs naturally produce chemicals that cause the sperm to be attracted to the egg. So once we place the egg in the Petri dish, the sperm will be attracted to the egg and ultimately one sperm will penetrate or fertilize the egg. So that's the first technique called conventional insemination. The second technique that is used is called intracytoplasmic sperm injection or for short, ICSI. So with ICSI, it's still done in a lab, still done in a Petri dish. What we do that's different is we directly inject one sperm into the egg. So with both, with both techniques, we place the dish with the fertilized eggs in an incubator and grow them for about three to five days. After which we select the best fertilized eggs and transfer them back into the uterus where they can continue growing. So both these techniques are done here at Women's Hospital International and there are different factors to consider for which technique may be best for you. For further information, feel free to come, visit us and discuss. Thank you. For more information of the things that I've discussed today, you can come to the hospital where we can, you can consult with a doctor and we can get into more detail. Alternatively, you can purchase one of these books, Male and Female Infertility Made Easy, written by Dr. Edward Tamale Sali. These books can be purchased from the hospital premises or online on Amazon, Jumia, or through various bookstores located throughout Kampala. Thank you.